And now an update on breaking news from Sunday night where a three alarm fire broke out on Barnard Street in West Springfield. Several residents are now without homes as the investigation is still underway. A Western Mass News reporter Lena Joukowsky has more. Just before 9.30 p.m. Sunday evening, 13 Barnyard in West Springfield went up in flames. Upon arrival, fire crews found the home fully involved with reports of people trapped on the third floor. The evacuation is third floor occupants is something I've never seen before. Those residents walked across a wooden plank to safety onto the adjacent building over a more than 30 foot vertical drop. Given its proximity to Memorial Ave, and it's a highly um, you know, traveled roadway, we only received one phone call, which is, uh, isn't typical for most structure fires where you get numerous callers for this volume of fire. Western Mass News spoke with a first floor resident who was home when the fire broke out. I got out of the house, called 911. My room is right there on the left side, and the fire was on the right side. So I come out of my room, and obviously there is nothing on my side. As soon as I get out, I just see smoke from the other side coming in the house already. I got out, and I see everything is on fire, basically. I was just a little bit freaked out. Fire crews from Springfield and Agawam helped extinguish the flames while Westfield and Holyoke covered Springfield. The fire took four and a half hours to get under control. Temperature such as we had last night is always an issue with the fire scenes. We had lines freezing up. Evidence of which can be seen in the form of ice covering the remains of the building. The American Red Cross on scene Monday assisting displaced residents were told six tenants were able to find temporary housing on their own. Additionally, we're told a cat reported missing Sunday night has since been found. But the home is a total loss. No injuries were reported and the fire investigative unit is still working to determine the cause. In West Springfield for Western Mass News, I'm Lena Joukowsky reporting. If you'd like to help out the Dirks family and donate, they lost everything in that fire. A link to their GoFundMe account can be found online on our website, westernmassnews.com.